church. It's so lovely to be able to speak to you today. My name is T and I'm part of uh, the fabulous North location. I hope you've been enjoying this wonderful month of prayers and fasting and that you've seen some real breakthroughs. The verse I'd like to talk to you about today is all about pressing into the power of prayer with complete belief and faith and also being open-minded to how the answers to those prayers may look. Now, this is a verse I've had said over me for as long as I can remember, especially from my uh, wonderfully wise, faith-filled grandma, and it is Matthew 7, 7, and it reads, Ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and the door will be opened. Whenever I was stuck at a crossroads in my life, I would love to chat to my grandma about what to do. Her answer would invariably be, God's good. It would always start with God's good. God's good. Ask in faith. Seek out God. Knock and the door will open. She would, however, always follow with the caveat of, but remember, God gives us what we need, which isn't always what we want. A few years ago, I found myself going through a heartbreakingly uh, difficult time after losing both my parents unexpectedly and suddenly together. And I had no pastoral support or care from the Catholic Church, which I grew up in. I was sad, I was upset, I was angry. And for many months, I felt I couldn't return to church. That didn't stop me speaking to God, of course. Um, I was always talking to God. Sometimes I was talking very loudly at God. It was a really hard time. During those months of healing, I also found myself asking for um for the feeling to return to, to be able to go back to church, to feel like I wanted to return to church, to be part of church family again. I did, however, really feel like I wanted to be part of a church that was there for you in your time of need, that helped others, that made a difference. Eventually, eventually the call came and I felt God calling me back to church and I said to my husband, Rob, I'm ready to go back. I was so excited and expectant to be back at church and yet sadly I felt nothing, no closeness or connection to God at all. I was completely taken aback because this was my lifelong church, the only church I've known, where my parents got married, where myself and my husband got married, where our son was baptised. How could this not be my church home anymore? As we left, I said to Rob, this isn't where I'm supposed to be anymore. Not long after, I saw an advertisement for the nativity held at Freedom Church and we went along. And it was so different from any service I'd been to before. But after we left, I couldn't stop thinking about it. And that service then led us on to joining Audacious North location, not long after it opened. So my church life had been quiet, it had been stoic, it had been reserved, it was communal, uh, repetitive prayer. And of course, audacious was completely the opposite. I would leave a service with a strange feeling thinking, I loved that, but also what the heck just happened? It was completely like anything, anything else I'd been to, but I kept hearing God say this, is the place. Sometimes I'd feel guilty not being back at my um, childhood church. I would feel guilty no longer being a part of the history surrounded that. Um, and sometimes I'd even question God and say, are you sure God, is this the place I'm supposed to be? I'd even miss a week at church, but then I'd, I'd miss it so much. Um, and I'd hear God say every time, this is the place. So I was brought back to that verse said over me and the caveat my grandma added. Matthew 7, 8 goes on to read, For everyone who asks receives. The one who seeks finds. The door will be opened. 
I had expected my prayer of wanting to return to church to be answered with me returning to my childhood church, to be sat back in the same pew I sat in week in, week out. But God had other plans. God knew what I needed. And he answered my prayers by shaking my church life completely and planted me and my family in audacious church. He put us in the place where we needed to be because he knew what we needed. I continue to say this verse over my son. In the last couple of weeks, we couple of months, we have had um, a couple of visits to hospital. The first was when a skeleton dinosaur leg became wedged between his two front teeth. I know, right? Who does that? Um, and we couldn't get it out. But two nurses, two consultants later, it was removed with sheer brute force. However, he was left scared, shaken and upset by the experience. Forward wind just eight days and a very upset little boy burst into the bedroom. Unbelievably, he had now got a badge stuck up his nose and it had been there for a little while, but he was too scared to come and tell me because of his last experience at the hospital and he didn't want to go back but of course we had to go so a few hours later we were back home badge removed sat on the sofa drinking hot chocolate and Isaac said to me you know mama I asked God to remove it for me you know like you say to me asking you receive I asked him and he didn't and when it didn't happen I couldn't understand why God wouldn't help me but then I realised God did help me because he gave me the courage to come and tell you. Yes, of course, God could have removed that badge in an instance. That was what Isaac wanted after all. But what did he need? After his previous hospital visit had left him feeling scared and anxious, he needed to be able to let go of that anxiety and that fear. He needed to know he could trust me enough to come to me with anything even that, even if that meant us ending up in A&E twice in eight days. What he needed was courage. Courage to tell me, courage to come over, to overcome his fears in the hospital. And that is exactly what God gave him. So church, I say to you today, seek out God. Ask him in complete faith and keep a keen eye for your open door. Because it may not be the one you're expecting. It may not even be the one that you are hoping for, but it will always be the one you need. So have courage, church. Pray courageously and have a beautiful, blessed day. Much love.